Lisa. Six months ago, I was here along with the leadership of the Métis Nation of Ontario, and all three parties in this House stood in support of the Métis Nation of Ontario Secretariat Act that recognized the unique governance structure of our Métis Nation government, and that, I believe, was an act of reconciliation. Further debate? First, let me thank uh, the Deputy uh, Speaker from Hamilton East Stony Creek for allowing me to sit in the chair in this special moment for me. And I appreciate uh, the Speaker for allowing me to do that. <laughs> Next, I have to do some business. But before I do, I just want to say, this has helped me. And I thank you. <clears throat> And I thank the leadership and the Métis Nation for embracing me, and I appreciate it very much. Mr. Mr. Speaker, I move third reading of Bill 153, an act to recognize the corporate structure of the Métis Nation of Ontario by enacting the Métis Nation of Ontario Secretariat Act 2015. Mr. Zimmer has moved third reading of the Bill 153, an act to recognize the corporate structure of the Métis Nation of Ontario by enacting the Métis Nation of Ontario Secretariat Act 2015. Is it the pleasure of the House the motion carry? Carry. Third reading of the bill. decision is going to open many doors for us as a people and it's going to help move us forward towards a process of reconciliation between Canada and our nation. We've got a big job ahead of us. We're going to be taking our seat at the table negotiating a nation-to-nation -nation relationship with the federal government of Canada and we're going to be dealing with things like lands, like programs and services, things that are going to have real and lasting benefits for our citizens, we're going to be negotiating self-government. Over the coming months and years, this will be our task. It's real and lasting change for our citizens, and the Métis Nation of Ontario is ready for it. So over the next few days, um, we have youth uh, all across Ontario come out to the camp. Um, we're just teaching them cultural things. Uh, we got them building fires today, going on hikes, um, doing some art and some jigging, just traditional Métis knowledge that's being passed uh, down from generations. We had some elders come in, we were learning from them, and we're just really getting them up and doing things. Well, it's fun, plus it, it can also be life-altering for our youth. It helps them to think about what they want to do for career choices. Plus, it also helps our youth to become connected to the land and to the culture. As 
is Métis and we aspire to make our dreams come true and the Métis Nation of Ontario programs are here to help. Josh is a Métis youth studying to be a lawyer at Lakehead University in Thunder Bay. The support I received from the Métis Nation of Ontario has helped me complete my studies and further my career. If you aspire to make your dreams come true, the Métis Nation of Ontario is here to help. To be the best we can be. We aspire. We are the Métis Nation of Ontario. So the Summer Youth Cultural Program is basically a way to share our culture with local communities. So we work with day camps, senior residences, uh, special events, festivals, museums, basically anywhere that cultural programming would be beneficial. At Port William we've been doing a variety of different historical activities. We've learned how to fillet and cook fish, we've done canoeing in the Voyager canoes, we've done some crafts and tinsmithing and doing some carpentry, making some uh, traditional games, and eating traditional foods. Well, for me, I grew up not knowing. Like, I knew I was Métis, but none of my family ever practiced the Métis way of life. So being a part of this, I've really got to experience uh, my culture and learn where I came from and all the stuff that my ancestors did. So I think it's a really big learning opportunity for everyone that gets involved. I also want to acknowledge the government for taking this important step today to specifically address those 94 calls to action in the TRC's final report and to do so through a collaborative process in close partnership with Métis, First Nations and Inuit peoples in Ontario. The Métis Nation of Ontario is very proud of the respectful and productive relationship that we have with the government of Ontario as demonstrated through our MNO Ontario Framework Agreement 
We're going to build on that solid, solid foundation to work with Ontario towards an advancing reconciliation. As a Canadian, I recognize that I have a role to play in the process of healing and reconciliation, and indeed every single one of us as Canadians have an important role to play in that work. The Métis Nation of Ontario is committed to working with Ontario with all of the parties, with other Indigenous peoples, and with all Ontarians to advance that end. So together, I believe we must chart a new course forward for our province and for our country, one that's based on respect, understanding, and trust. Today we remember the past, but it also brings great hope for the future. And with that, with this work to advance reconciliation, we will build a much brighter future for all of us in Ontario. Merci, miigwech. Try